and sisters, as we begin to celebrate this rite in praise of God on the occasion of the unveiling of this beautiful new image of St. Lorenzo Ruiz for public veneration, we must be properly disposed and have a clear appreciation of the meaning of this celebration. When the church blesses a picture or statue and presents it for public veneration by the faithful, it does so for the following reasons. That when we look at the representation of those who have followed Christ faithfully, we will be motivated to seek the city that is to come, that we will learn the way that will enable us most surely to attain complete union with Christ, that as we struggle along with our earthly cares, we will be mindful of the saints, those friends and co-heirs of Christ, who are also our own brothers and sisters and our special benefactors, that we will remember how they love us, are near to us, intercede ceaselessly for us, and are joined to us in a marvelous communion. The Lord be with you. And with those with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus said, In those days you will be hated and persecuted for my sake, and you will suffer and even die. Many will renounce their faith, and there will be mutual hatred. They will also betray one another. False prophets will arise, and they will be able to mislead many. Evil will spread, while the love of many will be tepid. But he who perseveres shall be saved. The good news will be preached throughout the world, and there will be talks about the kingdom of God, so that he may be known to all. Then the end will come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. The following are the words of San Lorenzo himself. I am a Christian, and this day I profess until the hour of my death, and for God I shall give my life. Although I did not come to Japan to be a martyr, nevertheless, as a Christian and for God, I shall give my life. San Lorenzo Ruiz was born in the 1600s. He was a married layman with uh, three children, two boys and a girl. He was educated uh, in Binondo, in the Philippines, by the Dominicans. He was in his own parish church, an altar boy and a sacristan. His profession, in part, was as a calligrapher. Uh, so it is assumed that he was an educated man, uh, having copied many church uh, and official documents. In his late 20s or early 30s, he had to endure a false accusation for a crime he did not commit. And so to escape the death penalty, he traveled to Japan with some other Christians. There he was arrested for being a Christian. Uh, he was tortured, nonetheless refused to renounce uh, his faith in Jesus. He was hung in the year 1637 for that faith, which he refused to, um, to renounce. He was canonized in 1987 by Pope John Paul II, and his feast day is the 28th of September. So we look uh, to San Lorenzo Ruiz for uh, strength uh, as we endure the travails of this life. Jesus has many who love his kingdom in heaven, but few who bear his cross. He has many who share comfort, but few who desire suffering. He finds many to share his feast, but few his fasting. All desire to rejoice with him, but few are willing to suffer for his sake. May I never boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me, and I to the world. Why do you fear to take up the cross, which is the road to the kingdom? The cross is salvation and life, protection against our enemies, infusion of heavenly sweetness. The cross is strength of mind, joy of spirit, excellence of virtue, <coughs> perfection of holiness. There is no salvation of soul, no hope of eternal life, save the cross. May I ever boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me, and I am not for the sake of comfort for our suffering, but for the sake of the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. May I ever boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me, and I am not for the sake of comfort for our suffering, but for the sake of the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ.
Lord, we bless you for you alone are holy. And, we, and because in your compassion for sinners you sent into the world your son Jesus Christ, the author and perfecter of holiness, he sent to the Spirit to sustain his newborn church, a voice that teaches us the secret of holiness, a breeze that strengthens and refreshes, a fire that sears our hearts in love, the seed of God that yields a harvest of grace. Today we praise you for the gifts of the Spirit bestowed on San Lorenzo Ruiz, in whose honor we dedicate this statue. May we follow in the footsteps of the Lord, keeping before us the example of St. Lorenzo, and grow to a maturity measured not by nature, but by fullness of Christ. May we proclaim his gospel by word and deed, and shouldering our crosses daily, expend ourselves for others in your service. As we carry out our earthly duties, may we be filled with the Spirit of Christ and keep our eyes fixed on the glories of heaven, where you, Father, receive those who will reign with your Son forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Together let us pray. <coughs> Almighty God, you have given us Saint Lorenzo Ruiz as a model of unwavering fidelity and unflinching courage as he withstood the forces of death to defend his faith. Give us the same courage and fidelity to remain steadfast